welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. We do DIYs, we do wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter. Today's video is gonna be all about Easter DIYs, so if that's something you wanna see, then keep on watching. My favorite DIY first. So taking nautical rope from Dollar Tree, uh, went through like three pairs of scissors to finally get this to cut, but we are just cutting the tape off the end. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some hot glue, finger protector, and I always put hot glue in between the like rope and then I will twist it up tight. That way it holds together and it doesn't unravel on you and it always seems to do the trick. So taking our hot glue gun, I am just gonna start rolling this into itself. And at first I'm trying to do this like up in the air, just holding it. And then I'm like, girl, uh, you have your mat there, your silicone mat there for a reason, use it. So then I get smart and I bring it down to the silicone mat. So when I am wrapping this, I am getting the hot glue and I am stringing the bead of glue at the very bottom of the nautical rope and then kind of almost like dragging it into there. That way the hot glue doesn't come out on the top because that'll look nasty. So you're gonna, you're gonna spin this around as full as you want it. Um, I just kind of eyeballed how big I wanted these and then I just make sure to hot glue the end and then look at all that hot glue on the bottom. No, thank you. So now I'm just measuring out my bunny ears. So make these as big as you want, as little as you want. And then I make sure just to cut as many pieces for the ears as you're going to make bunnies. Does that make sense? So again, hot gluing the ends so that they don't unravel on us. And then we're gonna get a hot glue. Again, a lot of hot glue. And I'm gonna put the hot glue towards the back of this nautical rope gonna push it in there and then I'm just gonna get a little little baby dab of hot glue on the front of that ear it's hardly noticeable and I just press my finger into it just so I know that it's secured on both sides now right here I highly recommend cutting them and getting them as flat as possible at the end so that they sit flush with your bunny head so I'm gonna repeat that step for the second ear. Again, just hot gluing the ends so we don't have unraveling and attaching those to the back. And I, oh gosh, these came out so cute. So you guys know I need a finished product, right? The hot glue mess that was on the back was just way too much. So I started it this way, but I'm gonna hop to the second bunny I did because it was just way easier, okay? So look. Before I did the ears on this one, I put hot glue on it, lay it down on my burlap. I just kind of dab it. You don't need to press hard because the whole purpose is to cover the hot glue, not push it through your burlap. And then I cut around it and this just makes it look clean. It makes it look finished. And you all know I love finished. So this, you guys, is the same thing we're doing. So attaching ears to this one. Oh, Everett, he loves the color. Um, so we're going to finish the ears and now we're going to accessorize them. So this is some, um, ribbon that I got from Michael's 70% off. I just applied that hot glue to the back of the ear, laid it on the ribbon, and then we're just cutting right around it. This was so much easier than trying to trace around the ribbon, then cut it out, then lay it on. This just <clears throat> worked. It was easy peasy, you guys. These are so cute. I want to like make a million of them and sell them. I swear. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. So then taking a strand of this, I'm going to take the wire out, cut it a little thinner, and we're going to make a finger bow. I will attach that video down below for you. It is in real time and much easier to follow. And then we are going to hot glue this to the bottom of our bunny as a little necktie. Oh gosh. These are so adorable. These are like my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, so then for the second one, I took a Dollar Tree doily and we are gonna use this for her little ears. So again, I'm just going to apply hot glue to the back of the ear and then just lay it on there. It's on my silicone mat, so that's good. And then I'm just going to cut around this. Now for her, which I wasn't thinking clearly, when we make her bow, I put it down on the neckline like I did for the little boy bunny, which I wish I would have just done it up top to make it like look like a hair bow. 
But anyways, nonetheless, they still came out super, super cute. So again, I just took a piece of that doily, making a finger bow. It kind of looks like it's falling apart, but that's totally fine with me because it looks rustic and primitive and oh, I'm in love with you bunnies. Oh my gosh. Let me know down in comments if you are going to be trying this. You guys, this only took one of the eight foot nautical ropes at Dollar Tree. I think it's eight foot. I don't know what it is, but only one of those bundles. And look at how adorable these two came out. I am obsessed. I feel like I need to sell these on Etsy or something. They're just, oh, they're so cute. So for those of you that have Instagram, you probably remember me hauling this from my local thrift store. This little girl bunny was $2.99 and I had to paint it. It was a pretty pink, but it so reminded me of like the 90s, you know, like the glassware and the plates that had the little like blue heart on it with like the pink flowers on the side. That is what this reminded me of. So we needed to bring it into 2021. So I'm taking my Waverly chalk brush and I got these at Walmart and it came in a two pack and they were less than $11 for the two. And you'll see next Tuesday, I also use it. And I love it because it's helping me get into all the little grooves and texture of this bunny. It had like these little raised bumps all over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna coat this entire bunny with the linen white. I do do two coats because it definitely needed it. Now taking that antique wax again and my Dollar Tree stencil brush, I am just dabbing it all over. I want this girl to look like she was hanging out with Peter Rabbit in the garden. I want, I want to bring all of like the outside elements in with these projects and this bunny totally does it for me and you know you guys start off with a little bit here okay you could always add more wax later and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some twine and I'm just making it thick enough where you can see that it's there you know and we're going to get some hot glue taper that off wrap it around one more time then taking these beautiful paper flowers I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some more pink back into her life. Okay, we had to add that pink in there. And she is complete. And y'all, okay, check her out. Now, this bunny looks like she would be um, in like a pottery barn catalog. I, I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Like, she does first couple oh. DIYs and for most of you that have been on my channel already know that uh, usually when I go into like a new season I will present a compilation video of my past DIYs so this is gonna be a video of last year's Easter DIYs because I'm gonna start throwing in some Easter and spring together uh, going forward. So hopefully you're gonna be into that. And you guys, sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, <laughs> if you're digging me, if you're digging the channel, if you're digging the DIYs, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and make sure to check the links down below. I have started doing Amazon Lives on my crafting supplies, on my wood round. So definitely some things to check down below in the description box. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get going. For our next DIY, we are going to start with this wooden bunny cutout and moss sheet from Dollar Tree. We're gonna go ahead and trace this little bunny, bunny, bunny out. And then we're gonna cut her out as best as you can. We'll clean her up later, so just just do what you gotta do. All right, so cut her out. Then we're gonna get that bunny and we are gonna hot glue it to the wooden bunny. And then taking some scissors, I did try my craft knife and it did not work, but taking some scissors, turn that bunny on around and we are going to clean that up right here. Easy peasy. Now go ahead and set that bunny to the side. We're gonna take those wood uh, like panels that Lynette sent me and we're gonna go ahead and take those apart. And we're gonna use the top two that have like the four holes in it. And I'm gonna take a baby wipe with some antique wax and we're gonna rub that on there. This is just such an easy method, you guys. It's not messy, it dries fast. I, I absolutely love this versus using like a brush with the antique wax by far. So. We're gonna do that, then we're gonna grab some white 
uh, by Waverly, a stencil brush, and we're just gonna kind of dry brush, add some texture here, pull in that white from our fabric. We're gonna do that for both of these, and then we are going to attach our bunny. And I am also going to be attaching on the other panel the twine carrots from Dollar Tree. These are just so gorgeous, I love them. Um, we're doing three because that's my favorite number. Comment down below what's your favorite number. Mine is definitely three. I was born on three, three. It's always stuck with me. It was like my softball number. Yeah. So, okay, let's set those aside. All right. So we are going to be taking two canvases from Dollar Tree. I'm not taking the canvas off. We are leaving those on there. I'm going to go ahead and take my rotary blade and we are going to cut some squares. Don't cut too much because you don't want a lot of excess fabric attached to this here. So we're going to use this one and then I use a different color fabric as well. So get a staple gun. You could even use just hot glue and that'll work. And I'm pulling tight on here. We don't want any loose fabric and then going on top, you really want to pull tight. Okay. And then we're just going to staple all this fabric on. Now I know there's a fancy way of folding in the corners or like cutting it, but like, I'm not a pro crafter. You guys, I just love crafting. I'm not pro at it. So, uh, your girl just folds it in. We just fold it in. We're going to repeat this process for the same, for the opposite side. And then I cut the excess fabric off and just glue wherever there's not a staple, just so it looks really clean and, and flush with the frame. So now I'm attaching our bunny here. Voila. And then taking those uh, like furniture pin things, I'm taking my wire cutters and I'm cutting these stems off of stems, the, the poker, the, you know what I'm talking about, things off of them. And then I'm going to hot glue them to where those holes are. Now I have been using those gold thumbtack from Dollar Tree in a lot of my videos. And I just think this just gives something so much detail. It gives it a step up. Like if I wouldn't have added these, that would have been so plain. All right, move on, on to the carrots. So we're doing the same thing. So I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me over and over. So that one's done. Attaching this one and then we're attaching those pins. And that is it for this one. It came out way better than I could have imagined. And really quickly, I wanted to give a big shout out to my friend Presley. She is a little girl that is absolutely amazing and tenacious. And she talks about having a YouTube channel. And I just wanted to say hello to her. All right, you guys, this is how they turned out. And I love them. Comment with a bunny or a carrot. Which one's your favorite, the carrot or the bunny? Comment down with the emoji that matches the one that you like the most. You guys, we are starting with these carrot wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. I am just taking a baby wipe and then we are rubbing some antique wax on. These are actually gonna be the back. You guys know I love a finished product, so that's what I decided to do. So now taking this ribbon I got from Michaels, I wanna cover the carrots in this ribbon, but it wouldn't carry the entire top part. So I'm cutting pieces out, take that um, metal out the wire, and then I am coating it with some hot glue and I'm gonna lay it right on top of that ribbon so I know it co covers it. And then I'm just lightly patting it. We don't want it to go through the ribbon here. So then I'm just gonna cut out around here. I'm gonna cut this top part off because as you can see, it doesn't cover the entire top of the carrot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece. We're gonna lay it horizontally and you can see right there, well, I ended up getting another piece, but if you cut this piece in half, it's the perfect size and you could use one piece for two carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on top. Make sure you take that wire out. It just makes it a lot easier to cut around the carrot. Now I'm gonna take some scissors and we are going to cut around there so we see obviously the top of the carrot. Now y'all, if you have recommendations for like detail scissors, please let me know because one, these you can tell is like ginormous. And then these little ones that I got from Dollar Tree, they only cut like on the very back of the blade. So it was really hard getting like in the like corners of this, but yeah, your girl made it work, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and finish that off. 
And then we're gonna repeat this for all four, of, I end up doing four of these carrots here. So again, I'm gonna show you one more time, take all of the wire out, put some hot glue, just put it around the rim and put very, like very light amount. And as you can see, like I dab my fingers on it because I don't want all that hot glue coming up through our ribbon. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this one up. Don't worry about the harsh like black line in between that because we are going to cover that on up. I'm just fast forwarding this, you guys, okay? All right, okay. So after we're done with that, we're taking twine. You're gonna wrap this around four times, tack it off in the back, voila. And you are going to continue to do that for all four of your carrots. Easy peasy, Dollar Tree squeezy, right? I love how this garland turned out. This is my first time making one, so uh, I don't think I did that bad of a job. All right, after those are all done, we are going to take some painter's tape and about three inch pieces of twine, I would say. And I am putting painter's tape on the bottom so we could get it through the hole on the top of the carrot. So there we go. Sorry, Hank's barking up a storm in the backyard. And since this was my first time making one, I didn't know if you were supposed to tie them like super tight on the twine or loose. I decided to give it just like a little space. So I double knotted it, left a little bit of room. That way I could still move it around and play around with the placement after I was done putting all the other ribbons on. And I go ahead and just cut the ends off. It's okay if they're sticking up. And then I'm gonna repeat this step. I'm gonna do it one more time for y'all. It's pretty easy. Uh, and I'm just using my weeding tool to stick the hole back into it. So weeding that through, tying it on, double knotting it nice and loose. Now, after I'm done with all four of those, I tie the ends in a loop just so we could tack it, you could hang it, you could do whatever you want with it. And next I'm gonna grab some of this burlap. I'm also gonna grab our ribbon and some of the doily from our first project. And this is what's fun about garlands because you can make it however you want. You could put as much as you want, as less as you want. Possibilities are endless and that's why I enjoyed making this. So for mine, I did the burlap. Then I got the ribbon. Make sure you take the wire out of it so it's more flexible on the sides here. And I end up using, I think, eight pieces total of the ribbon. And I love that they got the straight lines right there for you, girl. Yes, ma'am. All right, so then taking, uh, the doilies from Dollar Tree come in two packs. So this was the second one, and I'm just cutting this in strips. Then, then I get smarter and get my rotary blade from Dollar Tree. That thing is awesome, pick one up. So I'm gonna take the doily and I'm gonna tie it on each side of our burlap. And I don't care that it looks almost like it's falling apart because I want it to look rustic and old, like you would see it in like an antique shop or something. And I then take the ribbon, tie that on each side of the doily, and we're gonna repeat this step all the way through, even on the right and left side of the end carrots. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm like telling you guys, oh, you guys need to add some like orange to it. Well, you will see. I did end up adding a very like thin ribbon of orange and I think this turned out so well. For some reason they seem to kind of like blend in right here but on my window you can perfectly see that these are carrots and I love how rustic kind of like primitive they look. It definitely stole my heart for sure. She does. Okay. Okay. All right, taking these, I found these at a garage sale for 25 cents each, and I actually got all four prints. I looked these up on eBay, and they were selling for $100 for the four. But y'all, they meant way more to me as craft pieces, because some of them, not all of them were 100. Some like were like $10 and something like that. So I just decided to craft with them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up. Do y'all remember seeing these like in the kitchen and stuff? Okay, anyways. So I'm gonna coat this with burnt umber and I'm going to put, paint both of them in this color, getting the sides as well. 
And we're gonna do two coats. That's what it looks like after two coats. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry. And then we're gonna come in with painter's tape. Now y'all, this is such an easy, easy project. I get it, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a high-end framed sign without having to use any wood. So we are creating with this painter's tape a faux frame for our signs we're going to make. And it's as easy as just taking painter's tape, however thick you want it. You can even like overlap them. You could put multiple layers to get multiple lines on here. I just thought it was worth sharing with y'all that like don't, you know, cut wood and all that stuff. It comes out amazing. So after we're done with that, I am taking my linen white chalk paint again and I'm using my foam roller. We're gonna go ahead and put some even coats, make sure not to get outside of your painter's tape like your girl did. And we're gonna go ahead and do two coats of this. And then look at those crisp lines. Now I did bring up a little bit, but don't worry. We are gonna doctor that up. We're just gonna get a paintbrush, get that burnt umber, and we are completely fine there. But look at how crisp these lines look. Look at how clean this looks. Like it already looks like it's framed out. It's absolutely insane. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my white marks that I decided to get everywhere. Girl, you should have known that. Okay, now you guys, I made these all on my own on Cricut. So um, for those of you that have a Cricut maker, I will link or try to, and I swear it never works for me, the image down the, you know what I'm talking about, the files down below. And then for those of you that don't, I will have these on my Etsy shop. Give me until Monday and I will have them posted there for you. Um, I love the way that these designs turned out. Pat myself on the back again. And I'm just using 651 permanent vinyl for this. And that is vinyl ease. All of this stuff you can find down in the description box in my Amazon store link. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process for our other sign as well. And these turn, mama has to get, get a snack, <laughs> hello. And these turn out so beautiful. Look at these. Come on. Do these not look like they wouldn't be sold at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere else? And that framed look is every, like, it looks so clean. I just wanted to take a quick second and kind of show you what an Amazon Live is all about. I go on, uh, we can chat together, I share all of my supplies. As you can see, they're kind of like linked below my image. It's a lot of fun. I think we're, hmm, majority of us are Amazon shoppers. So make sure to click the links down below because I won't only be doing craft, I'll be doing home Amazon Lives and things like that. So it's a really great opportunity to get more of an explanation as to like why I'm purchasing and get my reviews and opinions on it as well. So check those links down in the description box. So with this DIY y'all, we are gonna be starting off with this jute cord. I do have this in my Amazon store link down in my description box. And it's like a mix between the soft nautical rope and the hard nautical rope you would find at Dollar Tree. It's like if they had a baby, this would be their little baby love child. So I'm showing you this in real time because you have to roll this jute into itself to start it off because it is a little tough and it'll kind of like harden up on you, which is exactly what you want. Once you just start that little bit, then we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the top of our egg. Now you're gonna go ahead and just put hot glue on the egg and then wrap it up as you go. Now I'm just kind of like taking the jute and sliding it on the egg and then kind of pushing it into the rope so that the glue gets on the egg and the rope, if that makes sense. Just, we don't want it going anywhere. So we're gonna continue to do this all the way around until we get to the very bottom of our egg. Now these eggs have holes in them. So once you start getting pretty close to that hole, you're gonna go ahead and just set that to the side. Keep the rope attached to it, or jute, whatever it's called, set it to the side. And now we're gonna take this green automotive, uh, green automotive tape, this uh, twine, and we're wrapping it around our fingers, however many times you want. This is essentially a finger bow. And then we're gonna take the tail of it, stick it between our two fingers, loop it through, and tie it off. I will do this again um, later in this DIY. So with that done, I go ahead and I get some hot glue 
and I'm just gonna wrap that tail of it around it just for added security. You can also, which I do, I don't think I show you, but cut the ends of this off. So that little knot that's at the end on the right side, you can go ahead and cut that off. And now we're gonna use this for our stem of our carrot. So I attach it with hot glue, hold it for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna take that jute that's still on there, and now we're gonna kind of roll it up and over the base of that stem, okay? So there we go. And then we are also gonna cut that stem in half so that it looks more kind of like grass, you know, grassy, not, not like a loop. Or this could be cute if you left it in a loop to hang it as like a garland. That would be cute, right? Okay, so there we go. There is our first one. So we're gonna repeat this process for, um, I did three of them, you could do however many you want. And then I'm gonna show you the finger bow again. So I'm looping it around two, three, four, five times. Cut that, you need a longer tail to be able to tuck it in. So in between those two fingers, I'm gonna tuck the string in I'm gonna bring it, uh, tuck it in, come on. I'm gonna bring it back up and then put it through this loop we created on the top. Now you're gonna pull that twine and then you're gonna shimmy it towards the bottom here. Okay, and then you're gonna pull that really tight and there you go. That's gonna be your stem. And again, I just repeat the step of hot glue, twisting it up. I will cut that little knot off of the bottom and then we're going to attach it. And that's all you guys. That is your jute carrots. And now we are going to move on to our fabric carrots, which were <laughs> real fun like that's for sure. Okay. So let's finish this up. All right. So I've never decoupaged or anything with fabric before. So my thought was, let's take some Mod Podge and water. Let's submerge all of the fabric in there. And almost like this was like newspaper. I don't know what I was thinking. I, or maybe it does work. I don't know, but it didn't work for me. So it, it just moved around too much. It wasn't staying put. It was kind of like bowing up places. And I was like, okay, I have to scrap this. Y'all give me advice down below on how I do this. So I decided then to take some Mod Podge, brush that on, take dry fabric, and then put that on top of it, and then brush the Mod Podge on top of the fabric. Now this was working, however, I was taking like two strips at a time and my fingers were sticking to it so then when I would move my fingers then I would move the fabric and it was just a mess y'all like just a mess but I got smart and then after like every two strips I would take my heat gun and I would kind of drive them up so that they would get a little hard and they wouldn't move on me and that seemed to help a lot so we're gonna go ahead and repeat all of this and cover it up um, but I am gonna show you one more egg because it ended up working a lot better. So with this egg, I used thinner strips of fabric and I, I went like uh, vertically. So I didn't go up or down or side to side. I just had them going in like messy directions and it worked way better. And I also got the heat gun to it after I put every strip and these pieces of fabric just went down way smoother um, they didn't move on me since I was drying them one after another. So you're going to go ahead and cover that all up. And then we're just doing the same thing. We're taking our finger bow, making our little carrot stems for these. You're going to cut the base off and we are just going to glue it to the top of our fabric carrots. And you are all done with this project. So the possibilities are really endless with these, you guys, they, they come out so adorable. I love the mix of prints here. I It's gorgeous and that jute cord, that texture. I just love it and it's going to look good anywhere in a tear tray on your shelf. Possibilities are always enjoy right. your content. Okay, for this one, we are taking a new sign. Don't, y'all don't gotta get sassy with me, okay? I know it's new, people are looking for it, but it was the perfect size and so I had to use it. 
And by the way, that welcome comes off very easy. It's just that like foamy word stuff. Okay, so take your twine out. We're gonna go ahead and flip this baby around, get some burnt umber. I realized I didn't have any brown chalk paint. Y'all know I hardly ever used acrylic paints. It's all chalk paint for me, but I didn't have brown. And this worked very well. You don't have to worry about covering the whole thing up. This literally took me like 10 minutes. This is gonna be such a fun project for y'all to do as like a girl's night in, a family night with your kids. It was so easy. Okay, so now taking some plaster by Waverly, I'm just taking a stencil brush from Dollar Tree and I am just going for this bunny. So basically, I'm not good at explaining how I paint. I'm not Bob Ross, but um, this was so easy. It's basically like half a big circle, half a small circle, and then long triangles that slant on one side. Yeah, I'm not good at explaining painting, but as you can see, this was very easy to do. I promise you can do it. And I'm not being neat by any means. I am going through and just dragging this brush just roughly because I did want it. I didn't want it to be pure white or anything. And then I'm gonna get some antique wax and just put like a little, little baby amount. That way I can cre create some shadows in our little bunny. And you can see right there, like how much dimension just the little shadows add. And then it helps um, us create a line in between the ears so you really know that there's, you know, definition in there. I absolutely love how this turned out and I was really impressed how fast I did it. So now taking some ribbon, this is from Michaels. I'm going to create a loop. I think this is about 10 inches long. I'm going to hot glue the ends together. And then I always press in the middle and fold it in half so I know my um, middle point and I'm folding it up and over. I will leave my bow tutorial down in the description box for you, cutting some dovetails there. And y'all, I don't even like hot glue this together or anything. I get a piece of twine that was left over from another DIY project that was sitting on my table, and you are just going to loop it around and then we will hot glue it down at the very end. So here you go, hot glue it down. And then I did the bow first because I wanted to be able to see the position it was on its the bunny's neck for me to draw, paint the face on. So after we're done with that, we're gonna grab, <laughs> you guys know I don't throw anything away, right? I was about to throw these makeup brushes away and I was like, oh girl, no you are not. These are like synthetic makeup brushes and you could use these for painting. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some eyes on. I'm using Folk Art Rich Black. Then taking some pink from Folk Art as well. This is also chalk paint, doing a little nose. Now it does get darker as it dries. I then take, the, this is like a detailed brush from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint, I don't know what these are. Is this his mouth? I guess the, the bridge of his nose, the bottom of his, I don't know. And whiskers. You could even put some pink in the middle of its ears. And oh, so cute. Now y'all, I am starting to learn as I craft, let me tell you, because you guys know I like to finish the backs of my signs. Well, I was noticing I would do that first and then I would be getting paint on the back of it. So this time I was like, you know what, let's wait, do it at the end. So as usual, I take my brown shipping paper, I start tracing it out and then I cut it. And you guys always know that like this stuff like rolls up on you when you're trying to like cut it perfectly. So I cut it like that and then I'm like, no, don't cut it, don't cut it, girlfriend. Like hot glue it, put a bigger piece, you know, right there. We're gonna finish hot gluing this up. Then we're gonna take our Arteza craft knife and then go around and clean it up. And this was just so much easier than fighting the brown shipping paper that curls up on you to try and cut it perfectly. Like now I know this perfectly fits the back of my sign. So I just wanted to show you that because it looked so nice. Look at that. Okay. Woo -woo. Okay. Now poking some holes in, we're going to put our twine back in. And then this is when I notice. I'm like, uh, that ear looks a little funny. So I grab some more burnt umber and I clean up the sides. I do go back in and clean up the middle of his ear as well. But I absolutely love how this turned out. I really, really challenge you guys to, to do this with your friends and your family. I think it would be such a fun way seeing how everybody's bunny turns out, how everybody does their faces 
picks their bows. I think it would be a lot of fun. Look at how cute you are, mister. Looking all rustic and handsome. I love it. All right, y'all. So you know how I keep like everything? Well, this is actually the cover to a light fixture. Um, most people would call it what you say, a booby light. Yeah, we took this off of the ceiling that leads into my craft room. And of course, the crafter in me was like, I know I could do something. So uh, I'm doing something. So all I did was paint it in linen white by Rust-Oleum. And now I am just taking my um, antique wax in Waverly and we're gonna go ahead and distress this down. And although you're not gonna see like the bottom really, it still adds a lot to it. So now I'm gonna go super fast y'all because I am taking, it's called sizal rope. And this is actually different than nautical rope. You can get it at, at like Home Depot, Menards, any of those places. And it's a lot thicker, hairier. It has more texture and stuff going on in it. And I thought it would be perfect, not only for a decorative bowl, y'all, but a bird's nest. Yes, a bird's nest. So right here, I am just going all the way on top of it, covering all of that glass. And I had the perfect, perfect amount of rope for this project. It was amazing, you guys. And it was just so easy to make. This was the one that I was like last ditch effort. I was like, oh, I want one more project in here. And it ended up being my absolute favorite. So now I'm just adding some Spanish moss to it. And what's great is that this can be a decorative bowl all season long, or you can do like what I did right here and put it into a little nest. You could put a bird in there, some eggs. I mean, y'all, the possibilities are endless. Comment with a flower down below if you are digging this DIY. Starting right. with our Cricut over here, I'm gonna cut some fabric. I cut some bunny shapes and some eggy shapes. And I love, I love it. This machine can do so much if you just play around with it. I mean, I don't know everything there is to know about this machine, but I do know how to cut fabric. So we're gonna go ahead and take all of the pieces that we cut and we're just going to hot glue them together. No fancy way. I will say, I wish I had fabric glue, like hot glue, because this, and I don't know if it was this fabric in particular, but it just kept wanting to come apart on me. and. I hot glue fabric all the time and I've never had issues with it, but this stuff, it did not. So you guys, this was the bunny. Not all, not all things that I craft end up in my videos because this bunny ended up in the darn trash. Yes, in the trash. This, oh man, it wasn't pretty. This bunny was not pretty and he went bye-bye. So then you guys, I decided that I want a burlap egg too. So I took this leftover stocking and I am just taking one of our egg shapes. I'm gonna cut those, that shape out, two pieces. We are going to hot glue this together. And then you guys, if you have little ones watching, close their eyes, close their eyes right now. I do not need them not liking me, okay? Close it, are their eyes closed? Okay, oh, we're using that. We're using that for a filling, okay? I swear, Everly's okay. She she wanted to donate it, but it was too dirty to donate. So, um, mom's got to do what she's got to do to craft, you know? And unfortunately, the unicorn, I, I'm putting, I'm giving the unicorn's insides new life is what I'm saying. So, we're going to go ahead and stuff these. Stuff them as much as you want. I didn't go like too ham with the stuffing because... Um, I didn't want them ripping apart on me since I was already having that issue to begin with. I could have also taken out my sewing machine, but you know what? I don't got time for that. So we're going to go ahead and finish just stuffing all of our pieces and then hot gluing them. The bunny was a lot more difficult, but I got her done. She's super fancy. I definitely want to make bigger versions of her because I can only imagine like putting more accessories on them. So cute. So for this little burlap egg, we are going to put some lace on there, wrap it up, hot glue it down. So cute. Then take some twine, wrap that around the front. 
tie a little bow on there and look how cute you are. You are so cute. And then taking the bunny, we're gonna get some more of that twine, wrap it just one time around the neck and then we're going to make a finger bow and attach that and she will be done. And you guys could put anything, you could put like little diamonds on her, pearls, flowers. I mean, that's why I wanna make bigger ones. So just hot glue that onto her and you are all done with that project. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today in this Amazon um, mystery challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check the link down below to see who I sent my box to and to see what they created with their items. Um, I cannot wait to see you guys on Saturday. Okay, you guys, this right here. Okay, these are a Dollar Tree. You can see they're kind of, they're kind of rough. Some of them are. And if you see them, pick them up because these are going to make the perfect tear tray signs. I mean, any sign really. So at first I thought these were gonna be like a raw wood. Well, they're not. They almost feel like plastic to me. But then as I start trying to sand off this piece of glue, I'm like, mm, I think this could possibly be wood. I don't know, you guys, I'm so confused on this. But anyways, they easily come apart. I'm taking this mix of antique wax and it had chiffon in it. And I think it was the wax that did this, but it gives it like that crackle effect because the the frame itself was, like I said, like a plasticky leaf plasticky, glossy like texture, but I was so digging it. So I just left it. Then taking this off, um, I was just trying to take this off cause it's gonna be our back and I wanted just like a flat base down there. Now we're gonna paint the front in plaster. It doesn't have to be smooth, just let it be rough. It's okay if pieces are, are poking out, that's the least of our worries. Now we are going to cover up our back. For me, you guys, it's all about like, I want this to look like you bought it in a store. I don't want anybody to know. Not that I'm ashamed of it. I just want like, I want to be proud of my work. And you know, if somebody came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, should you get this at Home Goods or Hobby Lobby? I'd be like, mm -hmm, yes, ma'am. Okay, so now we're gonna put that back in here. Look at how clean the back looks. That's what I'm talking about here. Then taking a decal I made on my, oops, sorry about that, vinyl machine. It says bunny kisses. And I was either gonna do this or bunny trail, but I thought bunny kisses was a little different. And this will be available in my Etsy shop for y'all. So we put that on and that is it. This was a quick, easy DIY. Absolutely love how this turned out. This will definitely be going in my tear tray in the kitchen. And I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs today. I really think these are some of my favorite ones that I've done so far. And make sure to head down to the description box, check out Nicole's channel, let her know that I sent you. And I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. And I So I had this burlap stocking and it had a hole in it. So I had never used it. And then I decided, you know what? We can turn this into something. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling it apart. And then I realized I'm gonna have to flip this inside out because no matter what I do, I'm gonna have to glue this closed. So I flip it inside out. So get those Christmas decorations out, you guys. Let's start making bags out of them. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut the foot part out. Keep that because we can use that later down the road because you know we use everything in this craft channel. So taking my hot glue gun, we are going to just go ahead and glue, glue, glue that closed. This is just regular hot glue. I'm not using fabric glue or anything. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn that back, back outside, inside out. You know what I'm talking about here. And, and we are gonna take our Arteza uh, fabric markers. And I cannot say enough good things about these markers. They are so pigmented and they work on everything. You guys know burlap is, it's kind of hard to like write on and get a very vibrant color off of these do the job and you guys I'm not gonna fast forward through this because I was really really impressed with my handwriting today I mean I have good penmanship usually on like a piece of paper but whenever I try to craft and use my penmanship it always turns out super janky so I was really impressed 
Gosh, I'm just full of myself in this video, aren't I? Jeez, you guys, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. This is my channel and I, I'll, I'll give myself credit where credit is due. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. No, I'm not. All right. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and finish this off. And then I was just going to be like, okay, that's it. You're done. But then I decided, you know what? I need to show you guys how to decorate this. So as I'm thinking about it, I guess right here. Um, Okay, here we go. So I'm just taking, this is like a pasta sauce jar and I'm gonna put that in our bag. So one, it stands up. Two, so this, this Spanish moss will have something to kind of like sit on top of. Then we're taking all of our little carrots from Dollar Tree and we're putting all of those in there because this bunny is hungry and we wanna catch this thing. So we need all the carrots we can get. This would be so cute too to do with your kids and like leave out the like night before Easter or something. I just thought it was so adorable and how easy, how easy was that? And you could do this with anything really, even like a wine bag, that would be a good idea too. So you guys, I would leave a carrot, is there? So moving on to our next one, we're taking another canvas. This is, I believe the 11 by 14 from Dollar Tree and a full 20 by 20 piece of fabric. And now we're just gonna hot glue this. Make sure you pull tight on this end. And essentially we're gonna wrap this up like a present, okay? And when I mean a present, I mean really, look at, I'm folding these down. Now, um, I, kinda, I kinda guesstimate here and just put a bunch of hot glue. And luckily I was pretty good, okay? This side I got a little smarter, folded them in, and then I held it down and then this is a lot cleaner and safer y'all. So go with this route. Don't go with the previous one. Okay. All right. So put that down. Good. Good. Gotcha. Bah, 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 bah. Let's move on. Okay. So hi, my name is Sammy. My channel is Unicorn Dust Designs. I like long walks on the beach and overcomplicated crafts uh, that take like an hour or more to make. If you would like to meet my friend, comment down below. Let me know that you like long walks on the beach and over complicated crafts. Uh, you guys, why did I do this? I don't know. But I took this Jew and cut a million bajillion trillion strips of it off. Then I am hot gluing this on here. Uh, I guess because I like a lot of texture and depth. I don't know. I have these brilliant ideas and then I start doing them and I'm like, why would you do this to yourself? But I do it every time, every time, okay? So uh, I'm not gonna put you through the agony of watching me do this entire thing because we would be here and you wouldn't like the movie, you know? So then I went, I was measuring it, but then I went rogue and was like, nah, we're eyeballing this. So it's done. We're gonna hot glue this onto our fabric canvas here. And this looks great just as is, you guys. You guys can put a clip on here, put a picture on it. You could use it as a push pin board. You could leave it just like that too. Um, but I don't, of course. So first I thought these Easter eggs. Then I was like, nah, they're, 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 they're too far off. So then I got these little moss bunnies from Dollar Tree. I love the way they looked because it pulls in that other moss bunny that we just finished. But for some reason I didn't, I thought it looked too plain. So then I found this little guy on my shelf and I was like, all right, all right. So I just took it off. It came off super easy. Love the natural color wood. So I'm just gonna hot glue those on and then we're gonna hot glue our bunnies. Now tell me, would you have just done the bunnies or do you like it all together? Because of course, after the fact, I was like, dang, I think I just liked it with the bunnies, but it is what it is, right? I mean, it's already there. Uh, I mean, it's good, that's good, I like it. But this is a great way to just frame pieces, make them look higher end, give them more depth. Um, and I love that those little moss bunnies pulled the other bunny decor in with it. You're gorgeous. Okay, let's get it. Is there a carrot emoji down below if you like it? Okay, so um, I didn't think YouTube would appreciate me showing these little Nike bodies. So I covered that up, got this at a garage sale, for a dollar, we're gonna take this Rust-Oleum hammered uh, stuff and spray it all over. And your girl has no patience, so this is definitely uh, tacky the entire time I'm working on it. 
<laughs> so taking painter sticks, we're gonna go ahead and lay these out. We're gonna take four of them. And after you get them in the position you want, I'm gonna go ahead and get a pencil and kind of mark out kind of like the outline of this plate or tray or whatever it is. And then we're gonna take our, what do you call this, table saw. But you guys, I'm not gonna show you all this because it gets super sketch over here. So just, just know I'm using this and that's how I cut the painter sticks, okay? So then we take the a baby wipe and our antique Waverly wax. We're gonna go ahead and put that all over our wood pieces here. Easy, easy, let me tell you. And it dries so quickly. The coverage is great, the color is great. So we're gonna do that with all four pieces. And then once those are dry, we're gonna go ahead and lay those back out on top just to check our placement. Now, to be honest, I would have left it just like this. I thought it looked rustic. I, I loved it, but I kind of went ham with the hot glue here and it kind of like pushed out the sides and then I knew I had to cover it up. So we're gonna go ahead and hot glue the rest of them on. Don't get ham with the hot glue, okay? And then after we're done with that, we're gonna take this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it behind the first panel, making sure not to go too far down because you don't wanna see it through the slats. Now. For this first piece of rope, I am trying to keep it on the edge of the tray. That way I could define that line of the tray here. So I'm not, I'm trying not to touch the wood pieces, as you can see, which I ended up, I don't know how, it still ended up going flat. I don't know, you guys, but you get what I'm saying, you know? All right, so we're gonna bring this back up. Now you guys, this nautical rope, totally unravels so easy after you cut it. So what I always do is I take hot glue and put it in between there, twist it back up tight for a second, and then it doesn't unravel on you. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that underneath there, glue it off, and then we are going to do a, another strand of this. Now for this strand, make sure you get on top of your wood pieces. And as we get to the bottom, Okay, make sure you're putting the hot glue on the rope and not the tray because if you put it on the tray and then try to like press it down, it's going to go down in there and then it's just going to look wonky and uneven and we don't need all that happening. So we're going to bring this back up and then do the same thing, tuck it in. And here is Hank. And this is a long session with Hank right here. He is um, my lover. Not, not like that, like he's my lover dog. Like he loves to cuddle, he loves to be around. He will hang out downstairs with me all day if he doesn't hear something going on in the backyard. And I know you guys love him to death. Somebody actually suggested doing like a once a month live with Hank where you guys can ask questions about him, hang out with him. And I was like, do people really love him that much? If you guys really, really adore him then comment down with uh, a doggy emoji he would appreciate it i know he would look at him my sugars give me some sugars then he was like all right mom i'm out so now taking more of this spanish moss i'm gonna go ahead and stuff that down all the way down in there that way that's all you see through the slats that we put in and then i'm gonna add a little bit more so you can see it out the top now this is where you guys have fun with it. Put whatever you want in there. I chose to do these dried flowers by um, from Dollar Tree. I just thought it went with the whole vibe I was going with for these DIYs. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish those up with some stems. And I do use two packs of these. Um, and here we go. Now, you guys, this didn't turn out exactly how I imagined in my mind but it didn't come out bad either. I really wish I wouldn't have gone all ham with the hot glue because I actually preferred it without the rope. What do you guys think? Um, so you guys. <sighs> okay. Just climbed up the stairs and it's hard to breathe. <sighs> um, I kind of dissembled my backdrop from downstairs. So now it's a plain white wall. So I kind of look like super pasty white in front of it. So I'm having to like take you guys around the house to film my intros now. So there's that. Okay, I think I, think I could breathe. 
Got my gold chains, my princess right there that Everly gave me. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I actually use my DIYs around the house. See that? See that? See that? See those? like sitting on boxes of diapers and wipes. Wait, see that? Every time we go to Walmart, we've been buying like a diaper, a box of diapers or a box of wipes. You know, I gotta stock up. Okay. And today, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye. Notice. The wrinkles, the wrinkles. We ain't take talking about your face, girl. We were talking about the backdrop. <sighs> My face was up. I don't know what it is. What is it? Is it the hair? Is it the hair? I don't. I don't know. Dollar Tree lipstick for the win again. Dollar Tree bronzer for the win again. Is there something that you need, Tinkerbell? What, what is it? What is it? Oh, I see that no tail moving. What is it? You gotta go pee pee? You gotta go outside? What? Do you? Oh, do you have to go pee pee? You, okay. You, all right, okay. Ah! Oh, cool. You got, what? You want mama to come? Okay. Has to be my fault because we leveled everything else. This one's not going to be fast. Um, because I'm already overthinking it. This is the Amazon Mystery Box Challenge with Lynette from DIY Beauty on Purpose, Annalie Ashby, and Casey with Coffee with My Sunshine. How's your name, Mike? Janelle Ashby. Some days I just feel like I'm glowing and some days I feel like I'm just like pasty and chalky. What's chalky? I don't know. Is that uh, let's say Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. What, what, uh, what was that? Okay. I wasn't even recording that entire time. All right, how did you guys like it? Not you guys, okay. All, um, <clears throat> now that doesn't make much. How annoying. Now I wonder where it's been up in my closet. These, these glossy cheeks are reminding me of Jacqueline Hill. What do you want? Doge. Doge, 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 do
Seriously, you know how to get outside by yourself, Hank. Let me guess, you have to go pee, right? Because I just came down here and sat down. I just got all adjusted. Finally got my straps where I wanted them. And now I got to start it all over again. Could you? Focus. I wish I just put those down. How annoying. Gosh, the clothes that I used to wear that are still hanging in my closet that I don't wear. Okay. Dang. Okay. Now if we could do all of them like that. Oh, why does my nose always run? with what you got, right? Oh God, that's a bad idea. I don't got no tissue. Hey, 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 hey. I wanted to say thank you to all the people that stay all the way to the end to see all my boo-boos and stuff during my introductions and my second introduction. Uh, you guys are the true champions and thank you so much for supporting me all the way through my video because that really does help me out on YouTube more than you know. So for all of those that stick around to this point, I wanna do a little giveaway for you. I think I'm just gonna do like a bag uh, filled with hard to find items from Dollar Tree. And all you have to do is comment down below. Oh man, your favorite comedy movie. So comment that down below and you're gonna get an extra added entry if you go over to my new channel crafting a healthy life and subscribe and comment on that first video that i posted so two opportunities to get entered into the giveaway and i will notify you guys let's see today is sunday so let's say next Friday in my community tab who the winner is you get 48 hours to uh, message me via email and it will be US residents only I'm so sorry I can't afford $50 shipping to outside of the US but one day one day I will okay you guys thank you so much bye for those of you watching this is Friday this video is supposed to be posted tomorrow today that you're watching so that's how YouTube works here. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know what gets me? I just want all of you to know this right now. I like how now I've started talking to you on my bloopers. Uh, so as we're editing, you know, YouTubers or whatever, you guys get to see like four or five minutes of each DIY, right? Right? Okay. So my first DIY that I did, that took an hour, an hour of painting, dry time, designing the, um, my like vinyl decal, weeding it, all of that stuff took an hour. And then when I'm, I, I'm editing it, it goes down to four minutes, an hour to four minutes. Isn't that crazy? <sighs> the bunny, 25 minutes broken down into like three minutes. That's what I choose to do. All right, let's get on here. All right. <clears throat> Super Bowl. Okay. If you like to visit thrift stores, it is the perfect time to do that right now. So you got, no, it's not. Minutes. 
10 minutes for a 15 second intro and like How do you get so handsome? You're crazy. Where were you going, bud? You done? Are you done? Can you tell everyone hi? They love you. I don't know if they would if they know how many of my chapsticks you eat. Ah!